All right, let's do page two of our practice test for the final on Wednesday. Calculate the moles of beryllium if I have 34.06 grams. We always start with our grams, 34.06 grams of beryllium. Beryllium I recognize as a alkaline earth metal. It has a molar mass of 9.01 grams. So we need the grams to divide out. So we're going to divide it by the molar mass, 9.01 grams per mole. And so the grams divide out, and I get moles of beryllium. So when I use my calculator, 34.06 divided by 9.01, I get 3.78, etc., etc. We want to round it to the three significant figures, so we have 3.78 moles of beryllium. The next one is what is the mass in grams of 3.88 moles of octane? If I have 3.88 moles of octane. Now octane has eight carbons. So I'm going to do that up here. I have eight times 12.01 and 18 times 1.01. Again, I'm getting that from the periodic table. By now, you hopefully know carbon's 12.01 and hydrogen's 1.01. When I multiply those out, I get 114.26. And so I know that I, in this case, I need moles to divide out. So I have to have moles on the bottom. I'm going to be multiplying it by the molar mass, which is 114.26 grams of octane per mole of octane. The mole of octane divides out, and I get grams of octane as my unit. You have to show your units on the final, or else you won't get credit. 3.88 times 114.26, I get 118.14. Again, I only want three significant figures. I did that wrong. I did plus. My answer did not make sense. Have you ever done something and your answer didn't make sense? I was multiplying, I accidentally put plus. It's important to recognize when your answer doesn't make sense. Times 114.26. Let's see if I get a more reasonable answer. Now I get 443.3288. I had three significant figures in my problem, so I have three significant figures in my answer. Okay. The next thing I want to calculate moles if I have in 502.8 liters, assuming that this is at STP. Sorry if we f did not tell you that. 502.8 liters is my given, and I know that all gas at STP has a volume of 22.4 liters per mole of sulfur dioxide gas. So the liters of sulfur dioxide divide out, 502.8 divided by 22.4 is 22.44, I can only have, I need four significant figures. So I will have, say, 22.45 moles of sulfur dioxide. Now it says calculate the volume of 13.9 moles at STP. So if I have 13.9 moles of carbon dioxide, at STP, I know every mole of carbon dioxide has a volume of 22.4 liters. Kind of cool. Moles divide out. 13.9 times 22.4 is 311.36. I need three significant figures. So we'll just say 311 liters of CO2. All right, next it says atoms and 31.8 grams. So if I have 31.8 grams of carbon, I'm going to first have to change it to moles, so I have to divide it by the molar mass 
hopefully by now you remembered that there's 12.01 grams of carbon every mole. Now that I have moles, I can multiply by the number of atoms, which is Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of carbon for every mole of carbon. So I'm going to pretend I don't have a fancy calculator. I'm going to say 31.8 times 6.02 divided by 12.01 and I get 15.9. How many? I only want three significant figures. So that's 15.9 times 10 to the 23rd. I want to move the decimal over, so then I get 1.59 times 10 to the 24th atoms of carbon. Okay? Make sure you have your units. Now it says calculate the volume at STP of 26.7 grams of fluorine gas. Remember fluorine, halogens are diatomic. Make sure you remember that on the final. Fluorine is 19, but because it's diatomic, 19 times 2 is 38. So I have to divide it by 38 grams of fluorine per mole of fluorine. Now I need to, oh, here's a hint. Now I need to multiply by 22.4 liters of fluorine gas for every mole of fluorine gas. My moles divide out and I now have liters is my unit. Liters of fluorine gas. So 26.7 times 22.4 divided by 38 and I get 15.738. I need three significant figures so I will say 15.7. Alright, the last problem on the page I have 38.9 liters of methane gas at STP I know that first thing I need to do is change it to moles. I know there are 22.4 liters of methane gas for every mole of methane gas at standard temperature and pressure. The volume divides out. I now know molecules. There are Avogadro's number of molecules, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of methane gas per mole of methane gas. Moles divide out and I get molecules of methane gas. Now let's see what I have here. I'm going to pretend I don't have a fancy calculator. I'm going to take 38.9 times 6.02 divide by 22.4 and I have I'm going to put it down here. 10.45. I need three significant figures, so I'm going to say 10.5 times 10 to the 23rd. To do that, if I don't have a fancy calculator, I have to change that to 1.05. And then I move that up one, and I have 1.05 times 10 to the 24th molecules of methane. That's it for page two.